I don't know, it will not be an objective universal capital T truth, but I'm gonna give you how I figured it out, <laughs> okay? Me and Toya said one day, and we kind of talked about what we did, what was our process for coming up with arguments. And it was pretty simple, it was four steps. We all get a topic, right? And we all look at that topic to some degree. But I think sometimes what we fail to do is pull away from the resolution because we always read into it, right? And what, that, what I mean by that is not using the resolution as an endpoint of the stuff that we learn, but rather as a launching pad to talk about other exciting and innovative things, right? And so I think the first question in this fourth question or four step process is to ask yourself, what does the topic mean to me, right? And the reason why I say it that way is because you're the one who has to debate it. You're the one who has to interpret. The resolution of the topic itself is the object. You are the subject. Correct? Right? So you need to ask yourself, what does the resolution or the topic mean to me? Do I want to talk about the topic and not the resolution? Because there's a difference. Now, the topic for each year is definitely voted upon, just like the resolution. But it's usually like a category, if you will, right? This year is what? Latin America. Latin America. Economic engagement with Latin America, right? But how would we do that? Right? The resolution determines how we would talk about that particular concept, that particular theme, that particular category, right? So you need to ask yourself the question, how do I see both of those 